and we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the video. I think that you should be okay. Hi, Irene. Irene says, hey, Andrew, Thank you. So you guys can see these are the one, two, three, go in medium sculpted almond, and they actually stayed on pretty good. Mm -hmm. So we're going to begin by pushing back that cuticle. We're going to use the... Kathy says, you're the best, Oh, thank you, Umbeso. This is the unicorn thank drill bit. And we're going to begin to clean out the nail bed. I'd love to get something on a giveaway. Make sure you guys like and share. Post the video in your favorite group. We've got to reach 100 views and we'll do a giveaway at the end. Andrea, how does it feel to be a grandma? Last time you were here, you were just about to be a grandma. And now you are a nana. Is that what you want the baby to call you? Nana. And your mom is a great grandma. That is crazy. Is it your mom's first great grandchild? Yeah. Really? And you watch him every day? Oh. I am in the morning and go in my room and just chill in my bedroom. I hold him. I love him. We're gonna use. says, what speed are you using on your I use, that one was at 12,000 RPM. This one I'm gonna use a little bit lower. This is the diamond flame bit from the Russian manicure drill bit set. This is actually my favorite bit to prep. So go in and clean everything out. And this will help get rid of any like dry non-living tissue that's stuck to the skin. My birthday? It's been a while, it was in June. Oh, it was fun. I went to Disneyland. It was, you can't be Disneyland. I mean, come on. And then, well, no, I wish I would have gone before the mask mandate came back. Hi. Hello. Well, hopefully they get rid of it really soon. Oh, you're here for the pickup? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, for today. Hey, thank you. Awesome. I hope you love it. Go in, side to side, very gently. Let the machine do the work for you, okay? That is super essential when using drill bits. A lot of people think that I'm using a lot of pressure, but I'm not. It's just very controlled movement, actually. No? Did it freeze on, on anybody else's? It is hot today, huh? Wasn't it supposed to be like 107 today? Oh. Ugh. And then today, I love Dunkin' Donuts and I tried one of their new drinks because I'm on a diet, so I didn't want to do like the Fufu Lala coffees because they have 5,000 calories. I got the pink uh, strawberry drink with coconut milk. Ugh. It was terrible. It tasted like medicine. I didn't even finish it. So gross. Well, that one has more calories. Then. Oh. Trying to avoid the calories. Trying to lose weight. We're gonna use a diamond moon bit. So, do you guys remember how to declog it? Do you remember that little life hack I showed you guys? You're gonna turn your drill all the way up, take the foam from your buffer, and just really quickly go in and clean it out. And then your drill bit will be as good as new. And we're going to remove the dry skin, and we're also going to buff the nail at the same time. And I'm doing my best to not slouch, because I really want to slouch. But it was scary though, the doctor yesterday, he was like, you know, if you keep up uh, the way you, you stand and your posture now, by the time you're like 40, 50, 60, you're going to have to get surgery for your back and for your spine because you're so hunched, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, it's that bad. And then he was really like adamant I should be a vegan. Yeah. For like the first 30 minutes of it, I felt like I was at a presentation to be a vegan. I was like, oh my gosh, is it that serious? Is ve veganism that good? I like uh, meat too much. Morgan says, what's the difference between this bit and the straight When do you use what? Uh, which one? The flame bit? So this bit goes on the skin directly and it buffs away all the dry non-living tissue. And we have lots of videos on how to prep and prepping different nails. So it's important to have different ones 
to be able to accommodate the given situation. Focus camera. Focus. There we go. I wonder if it's because it's a Samsung that it won't focus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I don't like filming uh, with the iPhone. Look at that dry skin though. It just comes right off like butter. Yeah, so everything in Texas right now is like super inflated. And that I was asking me about the big, you know, couture.com project out in the Lone Star State and due to inflation, it hasn't been put on hold. I just have to find the right property for the right price. But the houses out there are really beautiful. Oh my gosh, you should try them. Um, get some Thai massages, try cupping. I really want to try cupping too. It does look scary and bruised, but I'd rather be bruised than be sore or be like achy, creaky. Especially at my age. Mm. Beautiful. I went to the movies under and I went to go see Escape Room. Have you seen that? Is that good? Oh, you saw that on Femi's video? The uh, Kiroko Cream, the BBC, will be out um, fall, early fall 2021. And the makeup sponge will be re not the, yeah the makeup sponges and the eyelash line will be released late summer 2021 so in the upcoming weeks. Beautiful. Let's remove that. Dough. And we're gonna go in with one coat of nail prep and then one coat of primer. Are you excited to get married on there? No? Are you going to get married in the church too? No? Just by the justice of the peace? Is Beth going to come over? She's not coming? Just one coat of nail primer. And then we're going to use happy gel today because I want to smell watermelon. So we're going to get our brand new secret Happy Gel Lubricant, which is not out yet, but will be coming out winter 2021. Look at the drink, I have so much left. Uh, yeah. So what is for your Happy Gel? This is the liquid for Happy Gel. Oh. And it smells like watermelon. What's smell? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, this is gonna come out. Doesn't it smell good? That's gonna come out um, winter this year. This is a Happy Gel brush. I think the girls have seen it already. Little Lux brush wipe. So a happy gel is like pre-mixed acrylic. So it's really easy to use because it's basically like acrylic but it's already pre-mixed. One of the biggest advantages is there's absolutely no odor. So we get it and then we... Oh, thank you. It's because I'm wearing my Team USA shirt. Team America. Just scoop it out. So it's like acrylic, but already mixed. And the color is just like the Eternal Beige acrylic. And it's super strong because this has 60% acrylic polymer resin versus other brands that have like 20 or 30. We're gonna do that one last. So that way it doesn't run. And then you just take your brush and then pat it up towards the cuticle area. No, this smells so good. It's a great alternative to acrylic, especially if you work in an area where you can't have a lot of smell or you can't uh, have any smell at all. Like let's say a, a day spa setting or a medical setting. This is great because you have absolutely no smell.
like frosting a cake, so the application is really similar to our acrylic. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It really is, it's a great beginner uh, product as well too. Because there's no ratio as well too. I even love the color. It's so you, huh? Uh-huh. I'm going to fix this one because this one she's growing a little crooked. The colors are blush, yeah. so we were going over some ideas, and we want, well she wants something that you just look at it and it's just sparkle everywhere, just glamour, because she has to wear those nails after to go to the Dominican Republic for her honeymoon. A whole week in the Dominican Republic, how fun is that? No kids. So it's all adult. All adults. I don't kids Are you gonna go to the Hard Rock Hotel out there? We're seeing an um, Marcelo Mm-hmm. Yeah. But are you gonna go party at the Hard Rock too? You don't have like an itinerary planned yet? Really? I would have thought you would be like the kind of person that has like everything planned out beforehand. I just go with the flow. Really? I thought you'd be like, okay, so we arrive, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Or have you like uh, Googled what they have to do out there? Well, the hotel has a lot of uh, horseback riding and things like that. Like, yeah. But you're also gonna be like, ugh, I'm. I just want to relax and. Oh, yeah, that too for sure. Not doing anything sometimes is the best thing. A lot of people go to the Maldives to do that. The Maldives. A lot of people go there because there's absolutely nothing to do. And there's like no internet service. Oh, that's really nice. Mykonos and all those islands. Has anybody been to any island in Greece, you guys? Let us know in the comments below. Or the Dominican Republic. Let us know in the comments below if anybody's been to the Dominican Republic or... The Greek Isles. Sardinia, Italy has also really pretty islands. Spain too. Mexico. Acapulco! San Carlos. Rocky Point. I mean, Rocky Point is I heard the beach there is ugly. I think so. I've... It probably also depends like, the time of year you go. Mm. I've never been, to be honest with you. I've never been to the Rocky Point. Really? Really? And it's pretty close, huh? Yeah. Just do the thumbnail. It's pretty fast, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm not a big beach person. I'm not really either. I just like to be in my hotels on the beach. I do. I do like Miami though. I've been there once and it's a really fun city. Especially at night, they have really good nightlife. The people are pretty friendly for the most part. It's expensive though. Is it? You've never gone to Miami before? I've been to Orlando. Well, I mean, that's Disney World. Yeah, I went there. All the roads lead to Disney World in Orlando. But Miami's really fun. It's a great adult city also though too, yeah. Oh, you should, like, are you going to spend the night there? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Don't even get a hotel room. Just go out. Yeah. So, you're, oh, are you playing American? United. United? So, Tucson to Houston? Oh, no, we were going to fly from Phoenix. Mm -hmm. But they messed up my flight. So, I'm going to smash now. It's like, we can fly out of Tucson. Because we were supposed to have... Twenty hours. Yeah. Well, because we have an eight-hour layover in Miami, and then we 
I don't even know. Yeah, go ahead and bake it for me. We're gonna bake it for 90 seconds. That is a long time. Are you going to China or something like that? 20 hours? That is too long of a layover. No, thank you. Not today. And layovers are the worst part. I hate layovers, you guys. That's one of the reasons why I personally want to move out of the city I live in because every time I fly somewhere, I have to layover. Because our airport only flies to 13 cities. Yeah. Tucson flies to, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's not that many. And for United, we only fly to Houston, Denver, and San Francisco. So like for example, when I went to Disneyland on my birthday, I flew Tucson to San Francisco, San Francisco to LA. And then when we went back, we went um, LAX to Denver, Denver to Tucson. It took forever. I'm not gonna pay for my flight. Uh. <laughs> it was free. Uh, yeah. well, it wasn't free. It was all my points, but we're gonna do it in another 30 seconds. I took my parents, so I used all my points. Yeah. I have an obscene amount of point, you guys, for the airline. Sure. Ridiculously. I need to. Go, I need to start traveling again. I know. We can go to Turkey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beta, beta. Yeah. <laughs> the never ending story. So chic, isn't it? Going to use hand sanitizer to remove the sticky layer. Oh, I need a message to my massage lady too. Oh, yeah. Have you tried a time massage yet? No. No? <gasps> You're missing out. Oh my gosh. Time massages are life changing. You either love it or hate it, but I think they are the best thing since sliced bread. This one needs to cure a little bit longer the thumb. Go ahead and put it back in. viewers are we at right now come on you guys we're so close we're like 30 views away from 100 for the giveaway we want to give away a tube of happy gel in internal beige how do you like hawaii which island i've never been to hawaii oh I've never been to Hawaii. Not yet. I do have to go to Hawaii. Who wants to go with me? You want to go on there? <laughs> now? I think you have the quarantine to go right now. Oh, do you? I think so. I'm not sure. See you, kid. Mm -hmm. No, he's here. Ya empezaron a mover las telas del cuarto donde está la piedrería. Quieres que por favor empiecen ahí también. Let's go in and shape, shape, shape. I always wanted to go to Hawaii and go visit Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh, yeah. But Beth is dead now. And now he's with some other chick that looks a lot like her. Yeah. Well, yeah was it really? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. And baby Lisa. Do you know what her real name is? Her legal name, like on her birth certificate, is Daddy's Baby Lisa. Like, technically, her first name is Daddy. I guess when she was born, the mom like literally bounced, like just left her there at the hospital. And then they asked him, they're like, what are you going to call her? What are you going to name the baby? And he's like, oh, daddy's baby Lisa. 
So he raised her all by himself. And she looks just like him too. Oh. <laughs> really? In Hawaii? Hawaii, um, from what I understand, has a very high transient. Is that the nice word of saying it? Population? Mm-hmm. A lot of people living on the beach. Me? <laughs> it's dangerous! What if you, like a crab comes up and bites you? And then I heard some people get island fever. Where you want to get off the island really bad. So Marisol, my friend that has the eyelash brand, she used to live there too. I was like, where haven't you lived, Marisol? And I also heard a lot of people are moving to Salt Lake City recently too. Yeah. Really? And you associate Salt Lake City with like religion and things like that too, but I guess apparently, you know, it's a good mix of um, a lot of tech companies are moving out there and a good mix of everything. So it's not as conservative as one would think it is. Or at least I, I was under the impression it was, but I guess not. Look at that, we're making them look brand new. And I guess the summers are really nice there too. Don't they? That is the fantasy. We're gonna use the pink carrot bit to begin the shaping. Have you ever been to, to Utah? I think maybe when I was smaller. Oh, no, 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 I haven't. No? Neither have I, but anything's better than here in the summer. Yeah. Susie, she lives in Canada. She was telling me that it's like 70 something where she lives. I was like, man, show off. The other day I asked Suri, just out of curiosity, what's the weather like in Anchorage? 54 degrees. I was like, it's calling my name. It's a sign from the Lord. Have you figured out what sign yet? For the wedding or for today? Yeah, we're gonna do the vintage row sticker. For the wedding, I'm thinking, since it's blush. I don't know, if she likes a square. She likes the extreme square French, which is actually really pretty. <gasps> like Anna Nicole Smith when she got married. Hi, Johnny! Where have you been? You guys, let's try to get to 100 views. We want to give away a tube of Eternal Beige Happy Gel. I know we can do it. Aren't they so dope? Like, so chic. Are you going to put in lots of hair for the wedding? She's like, just put in all the bundles at the same time. How exciting. And what your makeup, what's gonna be your makeup? Yeah. Have you kind of figured out what you want for the makeup? I think that's really hard too. I just want very, you know, I don't really wear makeup. Mm -hmm. so your skin, but better kind of? And I want like shiny, glittery eyeshadow mm -hmm. that's soft. Like a coppery kind yeah. of? And lip? Nude lip copper eye. Mm -hmm. Did you try that therapy I told you? For this? For the You should get it now. That's not a needle in me. No, it's not a needle, it's just the um ultrasound. It's that really deep ultrasound that tightens it. No, no, this is a special kind of one. It's uh what did I say it was called? I'll look at it. Or I'll look. I'll look it up when we're done. But the machine is really expensive. I think it's like a thousand dollars a treatment. But in about six weeks, you notice a difference. So if you like do it now, it'll be perfect timing. So that way, everyone's gonna be like, "Wow, she looks really rested for her wedding." I wanna get Botox. Just a little pick me up. We're gonna do the inside a little bit too. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Didn't weren't you out partying? Didn't you go see like a concert or something like that? If I'm not mistaken. And then for music, what are you gonna have for the entertainment? Okay, so I got carpet. Mm-hmm. Ooh, very angelic. Uh, and then for cocktail hour, mm -hmm. Ooh. And then for dinner, the harvest. Mm-hmm. And then With lights and sounds and everything? Yeah. And so that way they can play a little bit of everything? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna play some Bonda music? No Bonda? You're not gonna dance to Quebradita? No. But like disco and things like that? I feel like a lot of reggae uh, Mm-hmm. Is Ray, a lot of his family coming over? Is his sister from Frisco coming over? Oh, I'm sad. His dad is in Florida. What about his sister from Jersey? So I'm going to use the power top bit and just really refine the shape. This bit is great to get into the cuticle. Let us know in the comments below your guys' wedding experience. Have you guys had big weddings, small weddings, more than one wedding? Who is my Elizabeth Taylor of the Pink Army? Botox just keeps you like that. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be my first time. Really? Yeah, so I kind of want to do it now because we have a reaction. Um... And then it takes a while to kick in. Yeah. So this is the medium sculpted almond, but she grew out. So we overlaid her with eternal beige happy gel and just made her look fresh. Never married, like me. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Like me. Oh, look at that, you guys. Good as new. Um, no, not really. But I'm gonna soften the edge so that you don't have to worry about um anything for the baby. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because the edges won't be sharp. We've got to make sure everything is smooth for the baby. Does she want to have another one or she's like, okay, I'm done. She's like, oh, and that was enough. She said that now. Did she have a natural or a C-section? Natural? Mm hmm Mm hmm Oh. Wow. But luckily he came out just fine. Did you cry? But it was so funny because I had a hold her leg because I saw him come out. It was like the neatest thing. Really? Yeah, I thought it was so neat. And um, as soon as he came out, they took him and I just kind of left her leg there and I went over there with him. Sharon says I waited seven years and one baby was really only finally got married. They had a nice sized wedding. And weddings are so expensive now too, huh? Speaking of nice sized weddings. And we're not even having a big of a wedding. We're up there. How many people are you are you having? Oh, that's really small. Or at least over ten thousand dollars. Oh, Easily. Wow. And they're like everybody at the dance better be, be tipping. Hi from Chicago. Wow. But does the venue include the food? Yes, thank God. Then that's... Well, we gotta buy the alcohol. Oh, really? 
Is it open bar? Two, dr uh, two dr drink limit. Uh, a lot of alcohol. Can you bring your own? Yeah, that's what I'm Oh, okay. Yeah. But we have a we hired a bartender. So you went to a Costco for the alcohol? No, well, some Costco and then mostly total white. Mmm. Yeah. Sharon had 150 people. It was expensive back then. Yeah. Wow. 150 people. I can't, I don't think I even know 150 people. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Are you gonna have a, uh, what do you call it, a videographer? I don't know. I had somebody who reached out to me about that actually today. Mm hmm. They're like, what the hell? Like, they're expensive. Like, what the hell? Yeah. 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 That's not too bad. Because you want to, like, remember it. Can you imagine like a big wedding, like a cultural wedding? Like, I remember when I was in uh, Disneyland, when I went for my birthday, there was an Indian wedding going on. Like Indian from like India. It was like a two or three day wedding. Cause I was there, I was there, there three nights. Yeah. And all three nights was the wedding. I remember one day when we went to Universal Studios, we woke up kind of earlier. It was like maybe like eight or nine. Like there was like a thousand people outside and they had like an elephant or yeah. And everybody was dressed up in their like um, traditional garments. And I was like, wow, these people go all out. And then came out to get divorced. Let's turn the hand over, make sure everything is nice and straight. But I've always been curious to go to Indian weddings. They seem like they'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, they do. And I don't think all of them are necessarily like super like three days or four days. I guess it just depends on the tax bracket. I'm taking the Twiggy file right now, you guys. I'm just making sure those sides are really nice and straight and there's no jagged edges. So that way she doesn't snag or scratch the baby. Mm -hmm. And then giving him a little bath and everything. How many people? Oh wow, just on the beach, just get it done and over with. How many people did your sister have at her wedding? The big one, the big one. But wasn't it like massive? Look at that, she is snatched for the fantasy. Let's go in with a smoothie buffer. Stand up straight, Max, gotta keep reminding myself. No. I have uh, a few pieces left though. I have a tamarind one right here. Do you want a tamarind? No. Right now when we finish this handle, we'll get you some lollipops. She loves the dumb dumb lollipops, you guys. That's what I'm gonna give you for your wedding. Dumb dumb lollipops. A big old box. Wedding registries. I've always wanted to do that. That seems like it'd be fun. Really? You don't want to go to the store and then zap everything you want? Well, there's always stuff you can get, like a toilet declogger. What are they called? I got like. Mm hmm. Birth control. 
<laughs> Neuter. A plunger! That's a necessity. Did I show you the cushion that I use on my back to help me stay stand up straight? Look at that, you guys. It's got spikes. <laughs> it's like acupuncture. Let's remove the dust. For sure. A lot of people think it's so relaxing to get their nails done. That's crazy. I don't. Because you come in here and you're like all energetic and yeah. then that's soon. I leave and I'm like, <sighs> it's like you need to invent a pillow like this. Like, you remember those old school phones that you would, oh, yeah. that have the thing yeah. on them? Look how pretty they look, you guys. I think we should do some some glitter with the flash. That'll be really pretty too. The flash shells, the reflective diamond glitters, like the sugar cookie or the caramel. This is caramel and this is sugar cookie. These are the five new colors that we launched with the roses. What are the roses? Yeah. Yeah, the caramel diamond would look really pretty with it. So you're gonna put that underneath? I'm gonna do like an ombre. Oh, okay. So some will have the flash and some will have that. Are we doing white? Should we do the white a pink, you guys? Or should we do kind of like more of the neutral milky? Where's the color wheel? I have it here somewhere. Gloria took it probably. Gloria is the lady that moves everything around. Oh. This is the one we usually do, which is a pink number three, which is the perfect nude, but right now, I think maybe something a little bit more pale. The white would look pretty with that. Yeah, or this one too, number 10. Those are your colors. So we'll do a pink number 12, which is the milky, the milky milk bath. So we're going to do a nice little coat of eight pink number 12 over the entire phalange. So this is a three-in-one. This is a rubber base coat, a natural nail strengthener, and a color. Look at that, so natural too. So I know for a lot of people painting the nail white is so hard and tricky, but because of the consistency of a pink, it makes it a huge difference. I don't have any plans yet, but I would love to. I've never been to the Caribbean and I have a pretty good following out there. I have a pretty good following in Trinidad, in the Bahamas, and the nail industry, I'm so glad to see it take off so much in the Caribbean. Jamaica also has a pretty booming nail industry. Puerto Rico, of course, for... Puerto Rico for a while has been doing really well for nails. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to go to Puerto Rico, too. Nope, no passport or nothing. No currency exchange. Yeah, it's a U.S. territory. It's our commonwealth. Let's do it. Nice, even coat. Make sure it's nice and even, Steven. You 
can go with me on the, the turn it down. We can go to Barbados, St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. Dominica. And then my personal favorite item, the Cayman Islands. Let's turn the head upside down and let that gel self level out just for a few seconds. And then we're going to get the caramel diamond. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, go ahead and bake that. They look crazy, huh? They look like little crab. But it's red chilies. This one is, I think, sugar cookie or the token. It's 202. Two, two, so we need 203. So pretty hot. You can check it out now. So we're gonna do an ombre. We're going to do what finger should we do the ombre on? Middle? Uh -huh. Green? Yeah. And then I'm gonna put the glitter back here. Flash gel 203. Let's do the thumb too. So pretty. Hawaii would be a good place for a wedding too. Or Alaska. <laughs> Why? Well, it's nice and cold. And then we're gonna get our pistachio brush, which is the ombre brush. She's nice and dry. And just very gently pull the color towards you. So that we get a nice gradient effect. Look how pretty that is. So soft and elegant. Oh, they're so annoying, huh? The flies. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. For reals. So elegant. Beautiful. Go ahead and bake that. Oh, I love Really? That is so pretty. You like it? I love it. It's very Andrea, isn't it? Yes. You can do that on all the nails. Okay. You should see this color under the flash, that's when it really love, pops. Love so pretty. This, I'm gonna say that this is one of my top ten. Really? Yeah, we've done hundreds. I would say this is one of my top five. Not the one with like every finger just covered in Swarovski crystals. Well, no. Back in the day. This one, it just looks so pretty. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. And the shape of the nail is like super natural yeah. too. Wait till you see it under the hard light though. That's when it really love. pops. Oh God, I love it. You know what kills flies too and mosquitoes? Hairspray. 
Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I use Windex. Does that work? Oh, yeah. And it cleans the window at the same time. <laughs> and just very gently pull the color towards you, okay you guys? Just like that. So that we have really nice gradients. So chic. Oh, thank you, but I actually don't use that brand. I don't know why it came out of my mouth. Back in the day I used to, before I manufactured my own stones. Now we use Maxovsky. And they're actually, that particular brand um, is not going to allow their stones to be sold for the nail industry anymore. I don't know, maybe like the white brings it out or... I love the white base coat. It really is such yeah, a game changer. it's just really pretty. It just, oh, I just love this so much. It's so plain though. I know, but it's just so... It's like perfect. It's the new Andrea. Yeah, it's perfect. Very nun-esque. Yeah. So that and what else? Do you want the roses still? Jeez, are you feeling okay? I know. No, I love this. Like, I really, really love this. What about, what else could we put on there then? Some diamonds. Some diamonds. Let's do a, li a, a little bit of diamonds, a little bit of dark arts. Yeah, no, for sure diamonds. So we're going to do a coat of Wonder Gel on top of everything and seal the fantasy. Remember you guys, when you put Wonder Gel on the nail, you want to float it on like a frosting cake. Oh, I will, Nikki. She says, make sure you talk with your hands. Huh? Gotta let the world know. Yeah, it just looks like my wedding colors, too. Very soft and blushy. Put your toes. Oh, really? They're all good to go. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All together, forever. So like on here, can you guys see? It looks it's so live. Yeah. It must be the um, reception in here. It's not the best with all the concrete.
slide that one drill over the entire nail. Like that, so that we get a really glass-like perfect surface structure. But remember, we are going to turn the hand upside down to let everything soft level out. Okay, turn the hand upside down, just like that. And this is going to let the gel self-level out and really give us a perfect surface structure. So that way when the light hits the nail, it is like glass, you guys. And it's gonna make sure that there is no uh, like high or low spots or anything uneven. It's just going to give us a flawless finish. Make sure that it's nice and even this way. Mm -hmm. See, look at that. Beautiful. Check to make sure there's nothing wrong. Beautiful. Okay, let's bake that for one minute. We're gonna get our diamonds ready. Do you love it? So pretty, right? So elegant. So she perfect for the bachelorette. I just love it. I'm have to do this to mine. Mm, so simple too. All you need is a pink number twelve and the uh, which one was it? The caramel diamond from the flash gels. I guess if I have to get the white polish, want to try that with purple flash gel. Ooh, right yeah, that'll be really pretty too. Okay, and we're gonna add just a little bit of diamonds here and there and give her the fantasy. So this is squeezing. Sandy says, hi, Sandy from Stafford, miss you. Hi, Sandy, queen of Bojangles. I wonder if that was still open. Such a fancy place. I'm going to warm the tip so that way it's easier to pick up the diamonds. Oh, my small diamonds. Did I use them up already? Oh, no. I think I'm going to get some more. Tray that would give everybody anxiety. Which one? Oh! Because I can't eat cake, I can only look at it. Never have enough diamonds. It's just a, 
a little bit to add to it, not to take away. I think that's really important when we're applying diamonds is we want to keep it balanced. Because sometimes I can get carried away and then add too much and then the fantasy is gone. And I'm gonna add some gold bullion. No, 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 he's out fumigating the, uh, yeah, he's fumigating the weeds. That's good though, it keeps him busy. Then just like, lying around, yeah. One more little done right here, I feel. It's perfect. No, I don't think so. I'll be like, more, more, more! Oh, yeah, she took the day off today. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's put that in for just 10 seconds. I'm gonna add uh, a little bit more gel around it, and then we'll... Seal everything in. Seal the deal. Seal the fantasy. Cause I told her she should get some um, showgirl charms, but she was like, "No, they're too small. They're too small and too basic. Like, look how small that is, you guys. This is from the showgirl charm set. She was like, "No, I would need like ten of them on a finger. <laughs> Take it out. Just add a little bit more squeezy around everything." Or dum dums. I'll go check right now. Let's bake that for one minute. Oh, it doesn't pull, it just is annoying because I know that it's there. Yeah, are you going to wait till right before? I mean, I have my appointment done for the 24th, but I'm like, I can't want to do it sooner. I don't know if I can have this. Mm, it gives you like anxiety, like yeah. the feeling. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Gonna... Wow. Are you putting anything in there to make it thicker? The Olaplex. Olaplex doesn't help with uh, thinning hair though. No, Olaplex is only for bonding the strands of the hair. You know what's really good for thinning hair? It's actually really cheap. A little life hack for you guys that uh, are thinning. Because when you get weight loss surgery, your hair thins out really bad. Is um, Polycure from Sal is actually works really well. I like it better than Nioxy. Mm -hmm, Polycure. Because Nioxy dries out your hair so bad. Ugh. Especially if it's chemically treated. Your hair is going to be looking like uh, hay. Oh, really? Yeah, and Nioxy is not too bad. And then the perfume I'm wearing is like super sweet, so I think that attracts me even more. I'm wearing Tom Ford's peach, something peach. So I smell like a peach cobbler. Peach and roses. Follic here. Yeah, it's great. Look at that, how pretty that is. And remember you guys wait 10 seconds after the hand comes out of the lamp and then apply a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. 
we were supposed to be super. She was gonna get roses, but then she was like, oh, I love this. She lo that's the flash show, the caramel diamonds. Mm-hmm. Yep, the caramel diamond, it's a new one. Five new ones. That's what happens when she's out partying. Look at that look at that structure of the nail though, you guys. Like it is so seamless. Let me turn off these lights. So you guys can see the Can you see the, the flash shell sparkle? These actually would be pretty for a wedding. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that too. They're just too short. No. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Did it freeze? What if you exit and go back in? I did. Oh, no, it's my throat. Well, the comments are coming in. Yes. Yep. Yep, for the best adhesion. Yep. Look at that. So beautiful. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this very bridal, very natural, very like everyday kind of woman for the fantasy, for the caramel wedding blush reality it's a lot that's a long category yeah. category is banji just kidding i hope you guys enjoyed this happy gel fill on top of the one two three bow nails and what can i say you guys i love you so much thank you for choosing inalcouture.com and supporting american companies and american manufacturing and i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and before i forget you guys we have a flash show for the stickers that ends on friday and it's promo code sticker 15 and it'll take 15 percent off every stickers all the stickers fantasies so you gotta try our stickers because we have over 200 to choose from. I forgot about that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.